Grammy-winning country duo, that's Brothers Osborne, and they've got new music. John and T.J. Osborne released their fourth album, Brothers Osborne, last month. Anthony Mason has spoken with the brothers several, several times over the course of their career. Let's just say they bonded. He recently spent a day at home with them in Nashville to see how some major life changes led to them to change their sound. When TJ and John Osborne went into the studio to record their new album, they did so with a new producer. Mike Elizondo. He's got like every toy like you could imagine in the world in the studio. And of course you walk in, you're like, we need to use everything. <laughs> and we nearly did. Elizondo's early roots were actually in hip hop. When you started with Dr. Dre, how did you end up in country? <laughs> That's a good, good question, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I'd like to yeah. know this myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of similarities. Music is. I, I never really looked at it as genres. Were there any kind of, uh, I know this is a little weird, but try this moments? <laughs> yeah, I think there were quite a few. He was like the third brother in the room, and that was constantly pushing us. The only thing that's staying the same in all of this is the two of us. Yeah. And so by the end of there, I was like, wow, we really do, we have a thing. I don't really know how to describe it or what it is, but I can hear it now. No minds, no body. The new album, titled simply Brothers Osborne, is actually their fourth record. But in some ways, it feels like a debut album. It does, yeah. It's, it it's, feels like a fresh start in a lot of ways for us. I mean, we've shared so much of ourselves publicly in the past few years. Sun goes up, sun goes down. In 2021, TJ came out. What's up, y'all? Happy Pride! Becoming the first openly gay artist on a major country music label. Nobody's nobody. And John revealed he'd battled anxiety so severe that he'd almost quit music. It's, it's scary, but upon doing that, we realized how much love and support there actually is. Who says you can't have everything? TJ and John live in Nashville. Yeah, definitely, if you go down there, you need to not be afraid of snakes. <laughs> Just a few miles apart along the Cumberland River. Now she's the finger that you wrapped around. She's whatever country song's about. She's the trouble that you're looking for. She's gonna take you down and leave me coming back tomorrow. Yeah. That man's good, that man's good. The reigning ACM and CMA Vocal Duo of the Year dead man's good, dead man's good. have been singing together since they were kids in Maryland. But they haven't always been in harmony. So you went through couples therapy together? <laughs> we did, yeah. Because there was a time where things were heated between us. So we could hardly even be in the same room with one another. And we, How long ago was that? It was um, four years ago, maybe? Probably around there, yeah, three, four years ago. How do you make that decision? Well, I, we really made that decision because it had gotten so bad, and we knew, like, this isn't healthy, you know? At the very least, if we keep on with this, the band's over. That's the least of our problems. Yeah. The biggest problem is he's my brother, and I love him, and he's my best friend, and that, you know, we're very close. That's the biggest problem. Like, we would lose each other as brothers, you yeah. know? Did you find it worked pretty quickly? I worked very yeah, quickly. Very yeah. quickly, actually. You know, yeah. this, the one thing about us, though, is when we were kids, we would fight very fast. We would <laughs> blow it up, and then within 10 yeah. minutes, we're like, hey, man, you want to go play some video games? All right, cool. <laughs> so we've always been like yeah. that. Yeah. Life has settled down for the Grammy winning duo. We belong to the land, we belong to the thunder. TJ is in a relationship with his partner, Abby Ventura. <laughs> love you. I love you too. <laughs> And John and his wife, singer-songwriter Lucy Silvis, just had twins. It's Arthur and Maybell. Arthur, Arthur and Maybell. And Maybell. They're going to be six months old in about two days. Brother and sister are already being prepared for the family business. He is a lovely boy. His name is Arthur. He likes to play with doors. His name is Arthur. When she sings, they just smile. They're like, oh. and I sing, they're like, ha, 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 in the studio, Elizondo encouraged John and TJ to experiment and crank the volume in the control room. He, he listens loud, by the way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's, I mean, it that's is the like, Dre days coming back. Holy <laughs> moly, it's loud in there. It's really fun. TJ, who usually handles vocals and plays acoustic, went electric with his brother on the album. 
I don't know that I've played a last work on any of the songs before. You know, it was like, why, why would I? You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm just like, please, God, John, no, yeah. do not. You, you I, do I it, prefer please. the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It worked too hard for this. <laughs> Anytime I play electric guitar, I always, I always refer to myself as like the ginger on the sushi platter. <laughs> it's like, you know, just a, I'm like, now you can really get context on what like a really great guitar yeah. player. Like, I can play guitar, but I'm like, I'm, this is what an average guy sounds like. <laughs> the, That's what a guitar player I'm the ginger playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I am winter, you are summer. When I am autumn, you are spring. Elizondo, who's worked with everyone from Eminem to the Jonas Brothers, says he saw something special in John and TJ. Above all, me just being a music nerd, I just knew they're badass musicians and can write songs. <laughs> and, and you'd be surprised how <laughs> few of them are. I don't, you know, know, if Anthony, I don't know if Anthony is probably surprised by that. No, <laughs> it, it, you not know, actually. So, <laughs> so for me. But it's it, nice to hear you say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great yeah. moment, it's Anthony. It's always good when you're with them. Yeah. They're great guys. Yeah. Uh, it's a terrific record. I really love it. They kick off a special tour in New York this week that goes to LA, DC, and Nashville in support of the album. Uh, it's really interesting that they were willing to stick their necks out here, and they found themselves in a very comfortable place and working with Mike Elizondo, who's amazing in the studio. Isn't it interesting, once again, the influence of hip-hop with yeah. Os Osborne yeah. Brothers. Yeah. Brothers Osborne, I would have never put that No, together. and well, Mike has, Mike has gone across all genres. He's yeah. an incredible producer. He's been up for producer of the year a couple times. Uh, and, but he pushed them a little bit and said, you know, let's go here, and they noodle around, and, they, and there's some really interesting opens to songs, which I pointed out. I said, these songs start in a really interesting way, and Mike said, oh, that's my hip-hop days coming back, yeah. too, he yeah. goes, because I was always looking for ringtones. Sometimes you know? ex experimenting ah. in music doesn't work and it right. doesn't land, but you're saying this lands. Well, I, what they say, which is interesting, is in a way they found an even clearer sense of themselves nice. yes. by willing by being willing to take risks. And they're both they happy. Love it, you know, but they're both happy personally too, which is really which yeah. is really nice, yeah. to, see. nice yeah. to see. Great spot. They're yes. both in great place. And shout out to therapy. Yeah, yeah. shout out exactly. to therapy. Exactly works. And shout out to denim jackets. John's twin, six yeah. months old, <laughs> yeah. already in the Arthur denim. Arthur didn't love yeah. that denim jacket though. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's tight. Anthony, thank you very much.